I've been a huge fan of of Huntress, right? A huge fan of Huntress, and I like Owlman. Now I've been using Owlman a lot more than Huntress lately, but they both got stat boosts, and I think that they have the potential to be very, very, very useful in PvP. Am I right or wrong? We're about to find out. Let's get to the video. There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here, and this is a Diesel Edge video. In this video, versus Huntress versus Owlman, they're both stat boost tunes. I, I always thought Huntress was underrated. Especially since that last rework she had, which was, I want to say 2019. I want to say it was 2019, because I actually remember when that rework came out and I was working with her and I was going to go play basketball and I was on the uh, the Polybond, which nobody outside of Zurich knows what I'm talking about. And I actually like was working with her then on, the, on that. So I've loved her kit. Owlman, I did not really use him that much at first. I liked him and I saw the potential. I think I even did an end up guide on him, but I never really used him that much. No idea why, but he is incredibly useful. So here's the other thing that's gonna happen as I read through their kits. I'm very, very sure that I'm gonna notice and remember things that I did not know before. So let's just dive into it. By the way, one of the coolest skins in the game. I absolutely love this. What, this is the new 52 skin, right? So love that skin. Where's the other one? This one is very much, I don't know. Sorority girl at Halloween wanted to pretend like she's an archer, but it's just a reason for her to dress up like that. Like it's, uh, it looks very, that one I do like. The tactical look, I do like that one a lot, but we're gonna stick with the new 52. Anyway, merciless shot. Damage to an enemy, plus 100% crit chance if targets below 50% health. 10% uh, true damage to targets below 50% health. So if they're below 50% health, you have a plus 100% chance to crit, and then also 10% true damage in addition to it. So she likes taking you out if you're low on the health. Gain four evasion ups, 80% chance to gain three speed ups on Bird of Prey, uh, and then gain 35% turn meter up is a legendary point. Not bad at all. And then the big hit. This is the awesome ability because of one of her passes. Let's get to it. Heavy damage to an enemy plus 115% damage if the enemy is dead. Uh, if an enemy is dead. So it's heavy damage. And then if an enemy is already dead, you get a plus 115% damage. So gained three strength ups if target is killed. This thing kills targets. So you know. Passive ability, 80% chance to use, oh wait, and do I have, it would be 100% chance. 100% chance to use Bird of Prey after killing an enemy on Huntress's turn. So this isn't the out of turn thing, this is the, if it's on her turn. Also gain a five crit chance ups. And then, window of opportunity, passive ability, at the end of each teammate's turn, 70% chance to use the big hit on a random enemy that is below 25% health. Awesome, awesome ability. Always apply heal immunity on all of Huntress's attacks, which is also awesome because this prevents revive. So whenever, I thought like, what is this gonna happen? Because what it does is it puts the heal immunity on there right after the attack, but then the heal immunity falls off, or at least it did. I should probably keep an eye out for that. But that means if you got killed on the big shot, the big hit with any of her abilities and the heal immunity was gonna be there, when you fell, you weren't gonna revive. Perfect for Grodd. Perfect for basically anybody who does revive. So, that is her kit. Now let's go ahead and hop into Stripe real, or not Stripe. I just did the Stripe video, guys, sorry. Let's hop into Owlman. I know I like this skin more. This one, I don't, it looks more like a Twisted Knight. I don't like it. So, Talon Strike. Damage to an enemy, can't miss. Apply two evasion downs. On critical hit, apply three crit chance ups to teammates. So when he crits, he gives crit chance ups to the teammates. We love to see that. Plus the two, the applying two evasion downs does kind of help because it's can't miss. And so it's also making those evasion tunes like a little bit more um, easy to take out. Gain four crit chance ups and four, that says four, right? Four crit chance ups and uh, four hit chance ups and 12% turn meter up on Hunter's Preparation also gain four crit damage ups if there are evasion ups in enemy team. 50% chance to apply same amount of buffs to, an, to a random ally. 
I wish that was a 100% chance, and I wish it was to all allies, to be real with you. <laughs> Darkest Knight. Heavy damage to an enemy. Plus 20% damage per evasion up on enemy team. That I did not know. So there's a bunch of evasion ups there. He's going to do damage. That's plus 200% damage on his A3. Use Darkest Knight on random team on random target when an ally misses an attack. So if an ally misses, he will use Darkest Knight. Now here's the problem with Darkest Knight. If an ally misses, typically it's because someone has evasion ups over there. And that means that Darkest Knight, which is not a can't miss ability, does miss. Which I mean it kind of bugs me that he's kind of one of he's a tune that was kind of designed for the anti-evasion, like an anti-evasion tune. But his A3 does not is not a can't miss. I, it bothers me. Passability. When a teammate deals a critical hit on their turn, they gain 25% turn meter up and one crit chance up. That I forgot. I completely forgot about that. So you want everybody to crit because when they crit, then uh, they gain 25% turn meter up and one crit chance up. Our man gains the same amount of turn meter. Wow. So I need to put him with tunes that crit. Um, passability. Oh, Alan Scott. Passability. At the start of each of your allies' turns, they gain two crit, ch two hit chance ups and two crit chance ups. So that, that that just comes with it. At the start of battle, apply four agility ups to all allies, which I like the ability. It makes you harder to kill for your entire team. But that was definitely going to be the last legendary I took. So let's take everybody into PvP. You see that PvP energy? Never do that, guys. Not good. Not good. All right, so. Let's go ahead and get into And I'm just going to refresh without even looking. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so. Hey, perfect. We had a Batgirl team with a Harley Quinn sitting there. So we have Owl Man, and I want to be able to crit. I want to get Wonder Girl out of the paint as fast as possible because there's going to be a lot of buffs running around here. Um, I can use Stitch to kind of neuter Spectre. I do like using Icon so far, but I still got to work on him. I mean, he's 7011, but he's only L2. So I'm wondering if I should even like toss him in because it'll be more about him right now. Try to figure him out. Uh, let's see. Stripe. Let's go ahead and use Stripe in there, right? Try to build something that's not so usual. And then, okay, so the problem is we're going to have Harley Quinn there, all right? I mean, I could use Green Lantern Hal Jordan and just kind of use a, kind of use an old school team. It's not old school at all, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Let's go ahead and use Green Lantern. I never use Green Lantern. Try to be different, or could use Brainiac. Let's do Green Lantern for right now. All right, so two battles with Owl Man, two battles with Huntress, and then we'll call it a video. Um, so let's see how this goes. All right, so of course I want to drop the hammer up, and there goes all of our debuff immunity, and there goes Stripe being officially, or not Stripe, um, well, yeah, Stripe and Green Lantern officially being stunned. Yay, and Stitch, oopsie, there was a miss. He attacked, but since that, since, um, since Harley Quinn had so many evasion ups, and you know what, I might even attack with the A1 right now to give her evasion downs on his can't miss ability. That might be more uh, to, um, ugh. Oh, and there goes our Enrage. Hooray. Who didn't want to see that happen? Love to see it, right? No. Maybe I should have gone with Brainiac instead of Green Lantern. Anyway, so we got rid of one. There goes our Green Lantern. Urr. Stripe, come on now, bro. Uh, what am I going to do? So right now we have an issue of... I could take out, I could take out Wonder Girl. And then I think that'll help Stripe go. Will Stripe go with it? Nope, because he's stunned. Uh, Daggummit. There we go. One more time. Who should I change out? Probably Stitch. Probably Stitch. I want somebody that'll crit. Should I run Steppenwolf lead? I've never, I took Steppenwolf for like 7011 recently because I never used him. I took him there recently. Haven't, still haven't used him. Um, boo. I want to keep Stripe in there, actually. I think I'm going to take out Green Lantern and Stitch. 
I'm leaning towards putting it, well, I'm not gonna put dark side in. That was, that might be a bit much. It might be a bit extra. Okay, we'll go ahead and put in Brainiac to be sure that we don't get enraged because Lord knows if I don't, then she always stuns. She always enrages the others. And then, mm, should I bring a taunter? Because I do believe that Owl Man and Brainiac could take out both uh, Batgirl and Harley Quinn. So maybe a little bit of extra support in terms of taking out Wonder Girl and Spectre. Not gonna use the obvious Superboy there. I mean, I could plop Huntress in if we're gonna, I mean, we'll even have an AOV attack. So I'll put in Huntress, we'll see. Maybe Huntress gets to shine in three matches instead of just two. All right, so let's see how that goes. This is about Owl Man, but we're gonna put Huntress in. So, on to it. So no enrage for us, yay. And then maybe I can hit her with this big hit. Nope, it missed, and now we're gonna get hit. But Owl Man goes and also misses. This is like, you know what I mean? Like it's one of those, it's weird that that is what his thing is supposed to be and he can't do it. When like, oh, so she missed, so let me go, but then it still doesn't do anything to her. Boom, so we got at least Harley Quinn stunned. Er, oh, there goes Huntress too. I was hoping to get somebody down low on health so we can go ahead and just take them out, but not gonna happen. And I'm trying to use other teams, you know? Trying to be a bit different over here. Mm, 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 mm. It kind of speaks to how hard it is to like use other tunes in the meta. Because this is, I don't know if it should be this difficult. Anyway, and this is a Batgirl team. This isn't even like a hard team. So then you know what I will do? I'll go at this team again, but this time the focus will be on Huntress and Owlman will be the sidekick. <laughs> oh, that's my way of cheating. All right, so now if I'm focused on Huntress and Owlman is there to help give us all those buffs, first thing I wanna do that I have to do is get rid of basically uh, Wonder Girl, because she is causing some problems, even though she isn't the beast that she used to be, she's still an issue, or still an issue for me. Um, let's see, also, we do have Black Lightning there that can heal for us, especially if we get low on health. Uh, let's see, I could bring Ultraman in as a, ta I feel like I need a taunter. I really do feel like I need a taunter. So I guess Penguin? Saying I guess Ping, Penguin used to like, not even used to be, but like when he first had his rework. And now it's like, eh, I guess so, maybe. Um, and then we're going to get enraged. So then that means like, what, I should bring in Green Lantern again? Mm. I don't see, I'm just trying to be a little bit different. And this seems like it's gonna be a problem. This seems like it's gonna be a problem. So let's see, cause, mm. There is a way to get a lot of them low on energy right away. And then just clean up the mess. I could put Dr. Poison in. I could put Dr. Poison in. In place of Owl Man. It'll get at least two of them and then Huntress can kind of wild out. Let's see. We'll take Owl Man out. Sorry, dude. Still think you're good and use used correctly in the right situations, you could be great. However, I was trying to be a bit extra. I'm still trying to be a bit extra. So let's see. Let's see if Huntress and her cohort, cohorts can take them out. We shouldn't have too many buffs. So that means that Wonder Girl will stay quiet. Uh, that doesn't mean Harley Quinn will, though. So who is Harley Quinn going to attack? Yeah. Yeah. Yuck, 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 yuck. All right, so... Let's just go ahead and do that buff. And then um, let's stun, hopefully. Yeah, my alliance, we were talking, we're talking because there's some people quitting. So we're discussing whether or not uh, how to go about getting new members. All right, so there we go. Now they're low. So Wonder Girl, come on, Huntress, take out Wonder Girl. Come on, oh, didn't matter, blood did. But come on, Huntress, show them. I've been bragging about you, I've been talking about you. Show them what you can do. Come on, where you at, where you at? Show them, 
Boom. Thank you. I mean, she hit Spectre in the first place. Come on, Huntress. Oh, and now she's stunned. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Uh, let's get rid of that stun, hopefully. Boom. Let's hit him again, actually, after the next turn. Let's go again. Boom. Let's go with... Oh, she's stunned again, but that's okay. We're in a pretty good situation now. All right, Huntress. Boom. Clean it up. Clean it up. I love it. I love it. And this was, and this, the thing is, is that please take this into consideration. I'm trying to use like tunes that I do not normally use or just build different setups. If I was just trying to do this like railroad through a team thing, then I would set it up much differently. But I'm trying to like just go deeper into my roster, show you guys different tunes and stuff. But if I wanted to like, I could very well, I could use Huntress in a very, very like efficient way to where I'm doing a lot of damage, but can't quite get them over, like can't quite kill them. And then Huntress just comes and wipe and finishes all up. So we have Barda there. Didn't Black Manta get a stat boost? Should I try using him? Hmm. So we have Ultraman there as a taunter. What else we gonna do? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huntress. Uh, no, let's just go ahead and just do all energy real quick. Uh, no added benefit to that. So we could use a different lead. Let's see. Steel. Nope. Cyborg. Nope. Kilowog. Yes. We will use Kilowog. And then as far as leads... I keep trying to use Black Canary at lead, but she, I, like, at first, when she first came out, she was at least good to use at lead, but now I can't use her at all. I mean, maybe in this scenario I can, maybe. Let's see. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. I enjoy these videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe and dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Ultimate Kit Challenge. Check it out. Enter for your chance to win 100 bucks. Comic Book Corner, let me know what you want to watch as you see me give Empowered Strength Ups to Huntress. Now, let's hopefully reduce everybody's turn meter. Or, better yet, let's just stun uh, Connor. And then, I keep calling Connor Superboy, which... Oh, boom! One shot kill on that one. Bye-bye. I mean, granted, it was Red Hood, but still, you know, he did the job. Boom! There goes Connor. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yay. And then, oh, oh, didn't quite take out Barda, but there is that uh, buff immunity up on her, and she did have a heal immunity. And truth be told, oh, wait, no, no. She has death immunity up now, so that's going to be a problem. All right. Boom. She's trying to take her out. All right, let's go ahead and stun Cassandra Kane. Thank you, Killer. Killer Bog just needs, like, a little stat boost in terms of health. He is so squishy. He is so squishy. If they could just, just a small boost to make him not so squishy, it'd be awesome. All right, so I'll just run this on auto from now on. Oh, can, Black Canary's going to die. No surprise there. Um, mm, 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 mm. Can we get this death immunity up off of uh, Barda before she decides to wild out with these five billion men she has right now? That a possibility? Yeah. Oh, no. See, there goes the death immunity again. <sighs> Boom. And Huntress is still trying to take her out. She's trying. She's trying. <laughs> Yo, get this death immunity off. <laughs> really, though. We need this to come off. And Huntress just keeps going at her, too. There we go. Finally. And now we can deal with Cassandra Kane, who just is the ultimate at stalling her own death. Come on now. There goes the invisibility. And then next up is going to, the evasion ups are going to fall. And then we should be good to go. Hmm. Do we have any? Oh, there's the stun from, good job, Black Canary. And there it is. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.